All right, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I'm Coach Brian Champ from the San Francisco Bay Area. I want to welcome all of you to our core cardio workout. We have five stations today. Let's just go ahead and get moving a little bit here on the balls of the feet. Balls of the feet. Lift up your toes. A lot of people have no idea when I what I'm talking about when I say balls of the feet because it's like a no one's ever talked about that before. So I just did a speed agility workout with uh, some kids the other day. They all look at me like I'm crazy as well because everybody's on their toes. Everybody does this. All right. So if you want to remove or reduce foot problems, Achilles issues, ankle issues, knee, hip or back problems, just lift up your toes and be on the balls of the feet, heels barely off the ground. So this is kind of like a ready position. Teach your kids this as well. If you have kids, especially if they're athletes, heels barely off the ground, okay? So that is our athletic position. We're gonna go to that whenever we need to, whenever you play a sport. Um, but whenever we do any agility work with me, do that heel barely off the ground maneuver. Let's do some Frankies here. Let's loosen up those hamstrings. I want you to take some deep breaths in in out in through the nose out through the mouth let's do some hugs inhale exhale every time you come up grab the leg and exhale draw the belly in inhale belly expands exhale draw the belly in and again i'm making that noise pretty loud obnoxious noise that's what you should sound like at home blow out the air blow out the air come on all right, good. A couple more. Okay, let's get the hips. Let's go around in a circle here. Up and around. Hip openers. Knee up and open. Knee up and open. So we don't need too much equipment today. Mostly body weight. Let's go the other direction. Out and in. So yesterday we got the official release to open today. That is exciting. We are not officially open today. The goal is next Wednesday. We have a few things to work out. We will continue the online stuff uh, throughout, even when we do open, so no worries on that. We'll probably even have more online because we're gonna film during our live sessions as well. Keep going, we're going out and in, out and in. All right, great, let's go ahead and shift right to left right to left so i'm working on the schedule i'll be sending a poll out to all of our members asking recommended times wherever we get uh the highest number of <coughs> demand we will open a class time at that period just gonna keep in mind though there will be lower classes live because we have a cleaning issue and um that'll be our biggest issue so We'll have a class every hour where it makes sense. And then our, we'll definitely have a, an afternoon class at four, but nothing after that. 4 p.m. for sure. For sure, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But Tuesdays and Thursdays doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now because there's only a handful of folks attending our, lot, our online Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So everything's based upon demand. All right, let's go ahead and take a take a turn here whatever leg you want but keep that back leg straight back leg straight uh, good so let's so I have my right foot forward I have my left hand on the ground my left leg back let's go ahead and open up the chest take a look at that hand in the air and now let's go ahead and just take some arm circles let's reach up reach 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 back leg is straight we're getting a big stretch to start our day big circles getting those shoulders loosened up this also loosens up that upper mid back area getting that little bit of rotation getting ready for the russian twist today hold that back leg straight everybody all right other side switch it oh that's a good stretch back leg stretch straight right hand on the ground under the shoulder check out my angles that knee wants to bend. See, that's the bent knee. Let's try to get it straight. Open up those hips. Left ankle, right under that knee. All right, let's go ahead and reach. 
and open it. Reach and open. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, everybody. Reach, reach, reach. Come on, big circles. All right. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, reach, exhale. Kind of both reaches. Do a couple more, keeping that back leg straight. All right, terrific. Let's go ahead and go wide knees. Let's open up those hips. Wide knees, wide knees. All right, so some of you may be wondering, why am I opening Wednesday instead of even today or tomorrow? So I know some places may be doing that. I'm actually going out of town, so I will be uh, driving to Elk Grove tonight, Sacramento area, and then we are gonna be on a houseboat Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be back Monday, so there's no way we could open um, in our new location without me being here. Um, <laughs> at least, because it's going to take a lot more people now to, uh, it's going to take about three people to be here per class. So it's going to be a little bit of work. Let's keep shifting right, or I'm sorry, shift back and forward, forward and back. All right, do the same thing with one leg out. I have one leg out. Ah, good groin stretch. Let's go ahead and go toes up now. Forward and back, breathe. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Whew. Switch sides, here we go. Let's go ahead and take that other leg now, Sh stretch it out to the side, all the way back, all the way forwards. Whew. Inhale, deep breath in and back. Inhale and back. Let's go foot up, toes to the ceiling, reaching those arms forward, sitting back with the hips. Hip opener, big one, and hamstrings and calves. Got a lot going on here. Okay, let's go on to the knees. This hurts your knees. Just go on your uh, go into a standing position. Let's go ahead and open up your elbows, hands behind your head in prisoner position. Let's take your hips, thrust them forwards, and squeeze your butt. Let's side bend. I have my knees wide, right? You see them? A little wider than shoulder, shoulder width. <laughs> really open up the elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Make a letter C for me here. Ah, side bend. Side bend. Keep your butt squeezed. Inhale one way, exhale the other. <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale. Let's keep going, everybody. <sighs> nice. So 10 movements today, 10 movements. We're going to alternate two movements at a time. Two movements at a time. There's always going to be a cardio. There's always going to be a main core movement. And remember, your core is your hips all the way up to shoulder blades. So let's get it going. All right, our first two patterns are going to be a squat position. So let's all squat. And we're going to go right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand, okay? Squat with hand to opposite foot. Remember, three things about every exercise program you do. Whether you're with me or somebody else, posture number one, form number two, and breathe. So keep that posture and that good form, okay? Next, glider saw. So here's what we're going to do. See my feet there? I'm just looking at my angles. Yep. Get these balls out of the way. All right. So we're going to put the feet on the gliders. You guys can keep standing up and moving. It's fine. All right. Keep moving, everybody. Keep moving. So I'm going to put my elbows on the ground. My feet are on the gliders. I'm going to keep my belly real tight, and I'm going to glide forward. That's the easy part. And now on the exhale, I want you to draw the belly in the whole time, but really try to go as far as you can without letting your belly pop out. Inhale forward, exhale back. If you don't have a glider, no worries. Don't use a glider, just kill, so keep doing it, okay? That's our movement, let's get to it. Number one, squat with foot to hold, or foot to opposite hand, are you ready? Let's get down, keeping your chest up, let's go. I'm gonna give you a few seconds here. Three, two, one, officially, now is the time. Here we go, we're on. Squat to opposite hand to foot. So we're gonna do five cardio movements, something like this, which drive your heart rate up. Total body movements stay low the whole time. Let's keep that trail leg straight. Halfway, 
Come on now, team. Keep your chest up. Breathe. That belly goes out, goes in, goes out and in. As you inhale, the belly goes out. As you exhale, the belly goes in. Three, two, one. All right. Here we go. Gliders. Let's keep that belly drawn in the whole time. All right. If you don't have gliders, don't worry about it. You're just going to do forward and back. You're going to go toes to heels with your feet if you don't have an opportunity to glide. Looks like this. Toes, heels, toes, heels, halfway. You want to make it harder, especially if you don't have a glider, go on one leg. Belly drawn in. You want to make it easier, go on your knees. Just hold a plank. Give me three, two, one. Time back to squat with foot to opposite hand, okay? Here we go, right back to it. Chest is up, stay low. Come on now, team, come on. If you wanna make this more exciting, what can you do? How about moving? How about moving, come on. Breathe, breathe. Notice my shoulders are square. You can go forward and back if you like, come on now. Pick it up. We got nine seconds left, eight, seven, six, Five, come on, Heidi. Four, three, let me see those eyes, Linda. Two, one, okay, glider. Here we go. The saw. We're sawing on your elbows. If you want, go on your hands. I'm gonna go on my hands. Forward, wherever you are though. Belly stays in. Breathe through the mouth, little pulses. Especially as you go back. Remember, when we breathe through the mouth, we're engaging those obliques. Squeeze your butt right now. No butts in the air. I can't go back very far. The stronger you are, the farther you're gonna go back. Time. Here we go. Let's get those heart rates up. Let's go team. We got 36 of you on the line right now. Let's go. Here we go. We're only doing three sets today. Three sets today. I finally got my heart rate monitor on for the first time in a while. I'm working harder than I have been because my back has been off. So, you know, I modified for a couple of weeks. It's okay. I was still moving. I'm better, about 80% right now. I can push a little bit more. How about you? Can you push a little bit more right now? Give me three, two, one, time. Okay, back to the gliders, to the saw. Here we go. Let's do it. Final one. I'm not going to use the gliders this time. I'm going to go one foot, heel, toes, heel. Think saw, forward, back saw. I'll tell you the halfway in a moment if you're going halfway. Get ready. There it is. Switch sides. You can do this with the glider as well. It's just 10 times harder. Inhale, exhale. How far can you go back? Keeping your belly in. Come on team, three, two, one. Time, first station done. Arr! Only three sets today. All right, next, step ups. Something to step on, find something. You do not have something to step on. Do some lunges. How about, how about this lunge today? Inhale, exhale, which would be very similar to what I do here. I'm gonna go dynamic step ups. Dynamic step up is a rhythmic step up. Okay, do what you can. And we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna switch the lead foot on the halfway mark. We're gonna alternate with one-legged squats with hip abduction and extension. So let's do it together. Let's come on down, bring your feet together, knees together, hold it. Take your right leg out. We're gonna go back and out. Back, out, that's our movement. Squeeze your butt, squeeze here, squeeze here. You can put your hand on your butt every once in a while. Make sure it's working, okay? All right, let's go, let's go. Step ups or lunges. Ready, three, two, one, go! Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Let's go, let's go. Remember, posture number one, 
form. How could we screw this up? Well, there's a couple ways. Halfway, other side. Just stepping, right? If your posture is good, it's going to be less likely to screw up your form. Okay? But make, I would say the key thing here is just making sure your foot's on the entire step, not just your toes. All right, let's go. One legged squats. Feet together. Let's get down. Right leg. Sit. Out. Extend. Keep sitting. I'm going to pop up if I get tired. You'll see me. Out. Squeeze. In. You can hold a little band around your ankles if you like. Switch sides. All right, here's my challenging leg. Squeeze. Keep your chest up. Form. Posture. Form here is feel that whole foot on the ground. Give me three, two, one. Time into round one. Okay. Step ups. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Or lunges. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Actually, opposite. Sorry. Inhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Pop back. Eyes straight ahead on me. <sighs> I'm going to look at you. Come on. <sighs> Pop back. Inhale. <sighs> Halfway. Switch sides. Come on, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Hands cheek to cheek. Sprinter hands. Drive. Knees towards the ground if you can. Time. Okay. Here we go. Feet together. Let's get into the squat. Out. Back. Out. Back. Breathe. Squeeze. I'm not doing a very good job of squeezing my butt. I'm going to hold it for a second. How about you? How about holding it? Not being a rush to get as many reps in. Switch. Woo! Burning, guys. Come on. Just can you sit a little deeper? Sit a little deeper. Come on. One leg is always stronger. Which one is your strong one? Mine is my left leg is stronger now. All right, step ups. Let's check out heart rates. Go, step ups, lunges. Go, go, go. Number three, the best one. Here's where we are. Let's go. Goal today, like all days, be in the aerobic zone, the blue zone, most of all. We want to get to that orange zone every once in a while. Halfway, switch sides. Come on now. You got it. We got about nine seconds left. Push it. Seven. We want to get up in the orange every once in a while. 30 minutes per week is my minimum recommendation. Time, okay. One-legged squat. Final one. Final one. Doing great over there, Michelle. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Sit. Out. In. Out. In. Can you go lower into your squat? Can you hold it? Squeeze. I'm exhaling as I extend the legs. Switch. Sit. This is my hard one. <laughs> Out and back. Keep going. Whoa. Eyes straight ahead. Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. Good. Awesome. Grab some water if you need it. I'm going to go over our next station, number three. Twist combo. Feet together. Feet right. Center left. <laughs> Now, I want you to move from here, right here, the obliques, the love, the rib cage. All right, rotate, rotate, rotate. Golf muscles, tennis muscles. Okay, that's a twist combo. Next, we're gonna do, if you have a ball, and I'm gonna peek and see who has the ball out there, we're gonna do a Russian twist. I'm gonna go this way. Whenever you do a ball exercise seated, that way you go to your back, start seated, work your way down, my head's not gonna like this with the microphone on. I'm gonna lift my head up for a moment. We're gonna have a hand, we're gonna have a, something here. You don't have to, but if you can, think about grabbing something here. We're gonna rotate onto the shoulder. <laughs> Inhale, high hips, do not let the hips down. Rotate. Now I'm gonna figure that a lot of you do not have a ball. So I wanna give you that, because I want you to use your stability balls at home. You did after all buy them. But, whoa, the ball is attacking me. All right, we're gonna do a Russian twist. <laughs> It's like my puppy at home. 
It just keeps coming towards my face. All right, keep going. Rotate. This is our Russian twist seated or lying. Sorry. Okay, so that is the two movement patterns. Twist combo is the movement we're going to do right now. Ready? So remember, feet right, center left. Go. Here we go. We can modify. Just modify with a jog if you're not feeling the jump. Just jog in place. But remember, things are a lot easier on your joints when you land on the ball of the foot with your toes up, heels barely off the ground. Give me 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Russian twist on your back. So I'm gonna take a ball between my knees here. I'm gonna do a Russian twist on the back. Do it on the ball if you guys have a ball. I'm gonna put a ball between my knees and I'm gonna rotate. Keep going. I have my head up if you're wondering. Probably not wondering, but my head's up because I have a microphone behind my head. Keep going, everybody. Let's keep the belly drawn in on these. Anchors to the ground if you're on your back. If you're holding the medicine ball in your hands with your head and shoulders on the Swiss ball, stability ball, squeeze the hell out of that ball with your hands. All right, those are our movements. Let's go. Let's hop, let's hop. Twist combo. Toes up, hop, hop, hop. Go! Let's see it. How tall can you be right now? How tall? Let's go. Chest is up, lengthen spine. Lift your toes up. Feel the ball of the foot. In the athletic realm, they call it power pads. The pad, the padding of your foot. It's where you hit the gas and the brake. That's our landing. Three, two, one. Time, okay. Let's go back to the Russian twists in one way or the other. I wanna check you guys out. Let's check it out. Wow, Robert's going extra mile there. He's on a bench. That looks a little dangerous. Okay, keep going, guys. There we go. Rotate right, rotate left. Nice. Yeah, handful of you have a ball. Nikki's got a ball. Halfway. Let's keep those hips up if you're on the stability ball. Sometimes the big balls are called stability balls. Sometimes they're called twist balls. How far can you go, Sarah? All the way, all the way. Rotate onto your shoulder if you have that stability ball. Yes, get on the shoulder. Great, okay. Good job, everybody. Let's go back to the, the twist. It's called a twist combo. Right, center, left, right, center, left. Go, let's drive those heart rates up. Yes, so close your eyes right now. Nobody's watching, nobody's watching, except for me. But with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine our word of the week, rotating from your midsection. Rotate from your midsection, your core muscles. Keep it going, come on. Rotate right, rotate left from your core. Close your eyes, feel it, feel it rotating. Keep it going, come on, three, two, one. Azale's looking good, there you go. Good job, I like that dance. You guys, you guys look like dancers out there. Okay, let's go to the Russian twist. Here we go, the Russian twist. Go! I'm gonna do it with the ball this time. <sighs> Head on the ball, shoulders on the ball, high hips. Again, I'm not, pretty, not really that comfortable because my microphone is in my way. <sighs> Roll onto your shoulder, high hips halfway. Roll onto the other shoulder. These are the same muscles that we did in the twist combo. The trunk, we're rotating from the obliques. Rotate, hips up, hips up, come on. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. All right, end of, of station three, end of station three. So get a water if you need it. Uh, if not, we're gonna go right in to our station four. This is station four. Heisman's, again, grab water right now. This is, I'm not officially starting. Just want to get you all going who want to keep going and don't need a rest. You guys keep doing that, okay? So if you have a ball, which I recognize many of you don't, okay? So about 10 years ago, almost everybody had a ball at their home. But I think uh, we've kind of moved away from that. This used to be a, a really commonly recommended tool for ergonomics at the desk. So check it out. We're gonna do a ball march if you have a ball. Walk forward, 
Keep doing your Heisman's guys. Just watch me. So from here, I'm gonna bring my hands up behind my head. See that small little maneuver. My face is shaking. Now that you could just hold right there or slowly add a march, okay? That'll be everyone. You keep doing your Heisman's, keep going. Option two, those of you out without a ball, we're gonna go to a heel tap. Kind of a similar movement pattern. We're marching, keeping your belly in the whole time. Now, if you can keep your back flat, I want you to bring your heels down both at the same time, okay? If you can keep your back flat and your belly in. Ready, ready, ready. Let's go. I know a lot of you have been doing Heisman's. Let's go to the core first right now. Core first, okay? Let's go. The ball march or the heel tap. Are you ready? So I'm going to go on my back. If you have that ball, grab it. Ready, ready, ready. Belly drawn in wherever you are. Set. Three, two, one. Go. Here we go. Remember, belly drawn in, imprint the spine. If you could do that easily, go both legs. Check yourself. Maybe put one finger on your belly. It's a good way to find out what's going on. Halfway. Slow and controlled. The more controlled you are, the harder it is. Don't let the belly pop up. Otherwise, you will train yourself to have a bigger belly. Three, give me two, one, and time. Okay, let's go back to the Heisman. All right, you should be good at this by now. So we're going one and then the other. It's kind of like the, the ice skater, right? One and then the other. Keep going, come on team. Drive, drive, drive. Come on, keep it going. Remember, how are we landing? Toes up, balls of the feet, go, go, go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. You want to make it harder? Go a little farther or go a little faster. You pick, drive your elbows. Come on, how many more seconds we got? A few, I can't see my clock. Four seconds, three, two, one, time. Okay, let's get it going. Back to our, our march or heel taps. I'm gonna do it on the ball this time. Start seated, belly drawn in, walk your way down, walk yourself down, hold it, hands behind your head. Feet together, you can just hold right here if you want. Crunch, do not let that belly escape. Keep it in. Okay, let's go. Halfway, draw that belly in as much as you can. Little pulses through the mouth. Same thing if you're on your back, team. Keep your belly in, little pulses through the mouth. Whenever your belly's in, three, two, one. Heisman time. Number two, officially. Go, 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 right into it. Let's get the heart rates up. I see some grays out there. Gray, for those of you who don't have a heart rate monitor, or maybe you do, gray, you're kind of cruising. And that's what will happen when we do some core stuff, right? But let's go harder now, come on. Let's get it up. So, you know, it's very common for yoga, Pilates, stretching, foam rolling, of course, gardening, easy walking for us to be in the gray zone. That's okay, at least we're getting movement. But let's get ourselves in the aerobic zone a lot, a lot, okay? And a little bit in the higher intensity zones. Good, okay, great job. Let's finish up. We got our final round here. Let's go back to on your back. I'm trying to figure out what I wanted to do right there. Okay, I think I'll go here. Heel taps. <laughs> Curl up if you want. Heel taps. <laughs> Remember, breathing, breathing through the mouth. Because you, when you have your belly in, you cannot breathe very well, right? So we have to do little shallow exhales. Come on, team, come on. Little exhales. Is your back imprinted in the ground? Give me five, four, three, two, one. Time, here we go. Final one, final one of our Heismans. Let's do it. Here we go, I wanna check you out. Let's go, I wanna see speed. I'm gonna show you the screen because it's not very exciting to watch me right now. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what you got out there. Come on team, let's go. This is your final set here, come on. Make it your best, make it your best. You got it, come on. Come on, Joni, give me a little bit more, a little bit more, Eric. Right, left, drive, right, left, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on, give me 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, Chris likes the Heisman. Three, two, 
one. Chris got sleep last night too. All right, good. Nice job, guys. Look at all the oranges all of a sudden. Awesome. Woohoo! You know what this is? It's our final station already. Hopefully, it's going by quick. All right. That is my goal. Okay. Entertain you as well as give you a good program. All right. So, high knee, skip, and twist. High knee, skip, and twist. This is station five, our last station. So, let's start off by marching. So this is your modification, okay? Modification, again, everything's the same. Posture, number one. Mechanics, number two, or form. The form is toes up. The form is hands cheek to cheek. The cheek to the cheek, okay? Eyes straight ahead, that's more about form, and then breathing. All right, now, let's go ahead and add a skip. Add a skip. So this is a regular old high knee skip. I want you to drive into the ground with the ball of your foot. Now, let's actually do the exercise. That is the twist and skip. Twist and skip. Again, the core muscles, the golf muscles, our baseball muscles. I'm in a baseball facility right now. All right, so we've got to use these. These are our key to rotational power. And we're going to modify with the lateral beast. Guys, keep skipping. Keep skipping. Lateral beast is here. I'm going to go this way. Tabletop position, hands under the shoulders, push into the ground, corkscrew the elbows in, knees up. You could just hold here. We're gonna go laterally, right. <sighs> laterally, left, keep pushing into the ground. The tendency is to do this. Head dive bombs forward, not good, okay? Modify here. A baby crawl lateral, okay? Let's go to it, high knee, yeah, let's go to the beast first. I know you've been skipping, so let's go down. Let's go to beast mode, everybody, beast. Let's do this, finish it up. Station five, ready, set, set, set. Three, I'm gonna go uh, on all fours with you. Two, go, here we go. Push in the ground, knees off the ground. Opposite arm, opposite leg if you can. Otherwise, just stay in one spot, do stationary beast. This is a great core exercise, but it also strengthens those little rotator cuff muscles of the shoulders. 10 seconds, knees barely off the ground. Seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, one, time. Let's go, here we go. If you're modifying our twist and skip, high knee march with a twist. Okay, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Knees up, toes up. <sighs> Rotate, core, core, core. You may feel a little back adjustment on this one. It's kind of like a chiropractor move here. Knees up, toes up. Come on, drive, drive, halfway. <sighs> this will get your heart rate up. Twisting and skipping. Come on team, pick it up. Quick feet, quick feet. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, Time, beast. I'll check you out. I could use a break. Here we go. Let's see it. Knees off the ground, hands under shoulders. Let's go, shoulders back and down. Push into the ground, it'll automatically happen. How about those eyes, Janet? What are you thinking about right now? Yes, don't look down. Huh. And I said, don't look down. Because you can look up. I know it may not feel great, because we're always used to looking down. There you go, look up for a minute few seconds. I know it's not comfortable. Knees barely off the ground. Come on, Natalie. Yes, got to get those shoulders ready to cut hair. Three, two, one in time. Here we go. Twist and skippers. Let's go. Let's see those heart rates. Let's go, Natalie. You're over 100. You're 101%. Natalie, can you remind me, please, to unbox her, to change your max heart rate? to a higher amount. Remind me, okay? I think we need to go to 180. So remind me, please, because 175 is your max. And you can see Natalie's there, guys. Come on, keep skipping, everybody. High knee twists and skips. Push into the ground, pick it up. Come on, give me five, four, three, two, one. Sarah, looks like you guys, you and Heidi got out of the uh, class. Jump back in, hit the word join, even though we're almost done. Okay. Let's go, beast mode. Lateral beast. Come on now, push into the ground. 
Hold your beast right here. Remember, the beast is too much for you, chest is up. If the beast is too much, put your knees on the ground and just work on coordination, neurological patterning, opposite arm, opposite leg. Come on, give me nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Final 30 seconds and we are done. Let's finish this up. I'm gonna give you, we're gonna go a little longer. A little longer, what do you say guys? We're good with that? Just give me a little bit more cardio, okay? A little bit more cardio. Keep going, let's go twist and skip. I've been going a little longer on these online classes. Again, you can leave at any point. But since we only have one class and people have the opportunity to leave at any moment, I'm gonna allow that to happen. We'll go a little bit longer. Keep going. Come on team, a little bit more. I wanna get a little more oranges for our folks out there. Come on now, come on. All right, that's the end of the high knee and skip. Man, now we got 552 calories. Okay, let's do a little bit more cardio. What do you think? All right, let's go. Let's get some jump jacks. Here we go. 30 seconds, go. We'll just finish up with two minutes more if you're up for it. Two minutes more. I'm feeling pretty good today. So let's do it, okay? Keep doing those jumping jacks or modified jack. Come on. Come on, team. Got to earn your breakfast. Earn your breakfast. Come on. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Then we'll do another cardio. <sighs> ah, good. Just throw in some uh, wacky jacks after this. I know we did those early in the week, but I really like those. Toes up, come on. I think we did them on Tuesday. Hopefully you remember how to do them. Let's go six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wacky jack. Ah, I screwed up. Okay, same side, same arm, same leg. This is our wacky jack, modified wacky. Keep your chest up. I like this too, because we can open up. Open it up. Same side. Now, how do you get your heart rate up? You gotta go faster. Squeeze, really squeeze. Come on, whoa. Here we go. Open it up, open it up. Come on, team. We'll do some karaoke's after this. My heart rate's up, seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, karaoke. We're gonna cross front, cross back. I'll go back so you can see my feet. Cross front, cross back, cross front, cross back. Keep it going. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff so I don't trip on camera. Come on, cross front, cross back. Keep it going. 20 more seconds here. Let's get those arms. Lateral movements get your heart rate up very quickly. Modify. More slow or slower. A little more deliberate. There we go. Come on. Three, two, one. Final 30 seconds. Tapioca. Quick hips, quick feet. Pop. Quick hips, quick feet. Go. Final 30 and we are done. Let's go. This is it, everybody. This is it. Give me a final push. There we are. Come on, Carla. Let's see those salsa hips. Cheryl, where are you at? Come on, Holly. Give me one more beat. You got it. Keep feet going. Keep feet going. Give me 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time, and we are good. Nice job. Let's march in place. Now let's bring those oranges to gray. Oranges to gray. Whew. How fast can you bring down your heart rate from a very high level to a very low level? That's called fitness, everybody. That's called, called cardiovascular health and fitness. That's called efficiency. How do you do it? Posture, again, if you're in a good posture right now, I'm keeping the screen up on purpose. I wanna see how fast you can go down. And when you look at your own heart rate, maybe even somebody else's, you'll go slower because you're actually trying, you're focused on slowing your body down. 
We should try this more often when you're feeling anxious. I need to as well. Feeling anxious and overwhelmed. Just look at your heart rate monitor. It's telling you how hard you're working. If your heart rate's high in the morning, probably either out of shape, inefficient in some manner, or maybe even getting sick. So the heart rate tells you a lot about you. Let's bring it down. I'm still marching. How low can you get your heart rate right now? Let's go heel toe raises. I'm not doing anything exciting. Just go up and down. I know some of you without heart rate monitors are probably getting annoyed right now. But just look at the numbers. Look at the percentages. Keep going, heels and toes. Breathing with good posture is the key to getting your heart rate down quickly. So a better angle here would be using this number here. So we wanna get our heart rate at 66% or lower. 65% or lower, we get out of the, 65% uh, or lower, we get out of the blue. Inhale, exhale, toes and heels. Pretty good. All right, so that's just a little bit of biofeedback that we can do. Awesome job. All right, let's just shift. Again, same idea. I'm talking slower because I want your breathing to go slower, which will then lower your heart rate. Keep going. Slow, deep breaths. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. So we can slow our nervous system, our heart, anytime by just slowing down our breathing, talking a little slower, moving a little slower. All right, let's go ahead and take it to the ground. Ah, oh, feels good. Let's go ahead. Let's go feet, one foot forward. Take this back hip and shove it forward. Tuck it and shove it. Squeeze your back glute. Put your hand on your butt muscle in the back. And let's open up this leg here. Shift forward. Ah. Oh. Now with this hand, which, which is the same one that my leg forward, I'm going to reach back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, lean back. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Can you grab your foot back there? What do you think? One hand maybe, maybe two hands, and now pull your shoulders back. You could also, since you're at home, you could put this back foot on your sofa. Just put it on the sofa, a little bit easier. Instead of grabbing it so high, just put it on the sofa, okay? I'm gonna do that with my other leg with that stool in a moment. Inhaling and exhaling. Open up these hips. Hip flexors are, are a contributing factor to hip, knee, and back pain, even neck pain. All right, other side, let's go. All right, open up real wide. Shove that back hip forward. Hand on the glute. Make sure it's engaging. Reach. My left leg is forward. I'm going to go left arm up and back. Inhale. Belly goes out. Exhale, blow out. Belly in. Lean back. It's going to be hot today. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Good to, get, good to get your workout done early, that's for sure. All right, let's get that back foot. I can't do that one, so I am going to use my stool. All right, so you use your couch if needed. Try to grab your foot. Whoa, all right. Nope, I can kind of grab it. Yeah, I can grab it. There we go. Getting better. Whew. Well, I couldn't do this before the quarantine. Quarantine's been good for my fitness. I've been moving more at a higher intensity. Trying to stay focused because I'm doing a video. <laughs> Slow, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Remember our word of the week is imagine. Imagine. We use uh, visual visualizations quite a bit in the athletic realm. Ray uh, talked a lot about visualizing 
you know, what you want yesterday. So think about what you want. Maybe it's, you know, better health, better fitness, uh, new job, better job, better relationship. Put it out there what you want. Visualize as clearly as possible what you want and just, you know, get it out there. Get it out there. You may want to write it down. People use vision boards. You can journal what you want, but just put it out there. First step is just get it out of your head but be very, very clear about it, okay? So imagine is our word of the week. Imagine what you really want, team. Imagine what you want as the next phase in our life. So I kind of think of this even today as a new phase for me. What do I want my facility to look like <clears throat> when I open? We're going to open on Wednesday. So uh, we're going to open on Wednesday. I don't know what that's going to look like yet. Really, it's dependent upon you and the demand for people to come back live. I know there's a lot of people that do not want to go out of the house, so I'm not expecting much, but because um, I've heard a lot of folks say, I'm not going out of my house. I'm not going out until there's a vaccine. So that's totally fine. We're going to keep doing these online programs, and uh, that's, that's fine. But um, based upon demand, we will have uh, uh, live sessions again on Wednesday, definitely at 4 p.m., definitely around 8, 8 p.m., I'm sorry, 4 p.m. and definitely at 8 a.m. And then based upon demand, we'll have, we may have a class of six. We may have a class of nine, okay? So uh, fill out my poll for members, and uh, I'll, I'll be sending that out shortly. One last thing for those of you coming live, uh, you will need to bring a mat. You'll need to bring a mat, and um, like, like this, bring your own mat. We will have spray bottles. I'm going to have like 20 bottles. You're going to spray, even when you come down, you're going to put your mat on the ground. Then you're going to spray it. <clears throat> We're actually theoretically not supposed to bring things in according to the uh, guidelines, but it's, yeah, it's, we, we gotta have a mat. So bring a mat and a water bottle in, but we're gonna have to spray that stuff. Uh, outdoor shoes, you, know, you can wear your outdoor shoes now. So um, in our old facility, you could not wear outdoor shoes. You can now, of course, make sure they're clean. No mud on them, please. Um, I would recommend no high running shoes. Keep it low, minimalist shoes. So low to the ground shoe, okay? High-heeled shoes, like running shoes with high you know, uh, heels, are good for absorption, but really not great for um, turf, easy to trip on. Also, bring a towel, bring water, and uh, it's going to be very similar to this, guys. We're not going to be using the equipment. Uh, we are going to be at our mats. I'm going to give you a, a piece of equipment. And uh, so today I would give you, I'd give you gliders. I'd give you a, um, a medicine ball. It's going to be right at each station, six feet apart. And unfortunately, you've got to wear a mask. So, and again, I know some of you are going to be really fired up about working out, but as soon as you get in here and have to wear a mask, you may never come back. So that's kind of the other issue. <laughs> it's not my issue. Um, unfortunately, we all have to wear it. But I did get some mask. Some of you already bought them. You don't have to buy these. But I do recommend these if you're not overly concerned about COVID. Um, this is a one-ply material, so it's not you know, N95 or anything, but you can't work out on N95. So this is, or something, just something to cover your face. It's basically similar to this shirt. Okay, so some people complain about masks and how they can't breathe, but they're not breathing with the right mask. So nurses do it all the time. Um, you're not going to die of carbon dioxide poisoning. Um, so just put a layer around your nose and mouth, and you're going to be fine. Okay, so that's all I got, team. Thank you for joining. I'll be hanging out for questions. I know there's probably going to be questions. So ask away. This for you, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Yes, thank you, thank guys. Thank you, Brian. Hi, Linda. Oh,